I think he might be onto something though, because it's kind of like uh, how birds eat rocks to help with they digestion. Eat, they eat rocks? Yeah, let me look this up. Birds eat rocks. This is news to me. A bird swallows small bits of gravel that act as teeth in the gizzard, breaking down hard food such as seeds and helping digestion. Yeah. What, okay. People also ask, what animals eat rocks to help with digestion? <laughs> Lots of animals eat rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Humans. <laughs> Thanks, Google. Or at least they swallow rocks. They don't eat them in the sense of digestion, uh, digesting them. It's like those people that eat glass. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, like, it's a talent. Well, no, because this is... <laughs> what is this this Google suggested question? Do crocodiles swallow stones to help them dive deeper? What? <laughs> hey, that's I mean that's a good question. It seems that crocodile oh myth or fact. Oh no. Oh to affect their buoyancy. I think this sounds like a myth. Let's click on this link that is suspect. Do crocodiles swallow? That should be <laughs> the Google question. <laughs> I think... <laughs> There's just like a bunch of rocks and all these stupid ass animals. I have no idea what's going on. So what's weird is the top outlet where my computer plugs into mm -hmm. is not working at all. So I had to just wrap it around to the other outlet. But the bottom one is working fine because that's what my monitors are hooked up to. Huh. It's looking weird. I do not know how that works. Like a switch. You're like, I'm not a geologist. I'm I don't know. I'm not a that geologist. Works. I'm learning about alligators eating rocks. I don't know. Yeah. How I'm supposed to help you and your computer. Well, you know, rocks and technology go yeah. together pretty well. Yeah, Del Fox, you'll have to come on. We'll review all the Pokemon. Every single one, all 750,000. Yeah, we'll start it at one, and we'll go from there. I think that'd actually be a really fun podcast. Oh, God, no. Are you kidding? <laughs> no, that would be a total blast. Yeah, because it's going to be a disaster once we get to, like, 300 and something. <laughs> once we get past Gen 2, it's going to be just a bunch of trash. Uh, yeah, I barely know any of the ones after... Like, I know some of the ones from Gen 3, I think, but I don't know if they're also from Gen 4. I know some of the Gen... Because I know I played Gen 3, but after that... Oh, it gets iffy, and I know I played Black and White, which is, like, Gen 5, I think. I, I couldn't tell you... I couldn't name a single Pokemon from X and Y. Not even the main ones. Oh, like, I played I X no and Y. Shit. Are those, uh... Torchic? No. The pig one. It's got the pig. The fire yes, pig. It is the pig. Okay. It is the pig one. Okay. I, tor pig. Flame pig. A tor pig, I think, might be right. Oh. Because I know there's tor chick. No, yeah, you're right. I don't remember it. Like, that was the last one I played, was X and Y. Hmm. So I'm not really... You didn't play Sun and Moon? No. I thought Sun and Moon were better than X and Y. For sure. I just didn't want to play a game on my 3DS. I wish I could see the chat to see what Del Fox is saying about Pokemon. Did you say Tepig was an X and Y, or did I hear wrong? Yeah, we think that's right. I said Torpig. Yeah, but it's Tepig <laughs> or whatever the fuck. Ten. I'm trying to look at the these starters. All right, Pokemon X and Y starters. Oh, it's like the chess pin. Oh, and Del Fox. <laughs> <laughs> and Del Fox, that's right, yeah. <laughs> but I picked, uh, what did I pick? Oh, shit, that's true. I actually like the, uh... I think I picked Del Fox. Froakie or whatever the fuck. I like because she has, like, a wand. And, like, she It was Froakie. Wow, I know things sometimes. Oh, yeah, Greninja. Okay, it's all coming back to me now. Oh, Grenin okay, Greninja, yeah. Yeah. That was a good game. I mean, whatever. It was good. It was good. I, I did like Sun and Moon a lot. If they had ported that to the Switch, I would have 
played it 100 percent. and i played because i played x and y and then afterwards i played omega ruby or whatever we just and then i played Sun. del fox is offended we don't know anything <laughs> Del Fox, you'd be surprised. I have such a shitty memory. Like, my memory sucks when I it know. comes to trying to remember certain things. I know, gen, like, up to Gen 2, some of Gen 3, and then it's just all garbage from there. See, my favorite Pokemon that's not in the early gens is, like, the Vanellish or whatever. That's just the ice cream cone. I love that Pokemon. Okay, I'm back on computer. Oh, ooh, sexy sounding. Yeah. No! <laughs> Sexy. I was talking about my, my favorite ice cream cone Pokemon. Oh, is that is that in that one? Whatever it is? I I think it's... No, I think it's from before. I'm just going to look at it. Vanellish. Vanellish. Category, Icy Snow. What does that mean? Icy Snow Pokemon. It's Gen 5. Ah. Oh, it's a Vanillite? What's Vanillite? Oh, that's garbage. But it's like Delphox. a little ice cream cone. There are a few Pokemon that are not precious. That one that's just like a pile of garbage. Garbodor, yeah. The one that's a fucking chandelier. I think that's, see, that one and the sword, I think, are also Gen 5. There's a sword. There's and just a there's sword. A, a keychain. There's a keychain Pokemon. I love how stupid. That's why we need to go through all the Pokemon because there's just a lot of nonsense. Okay, we what we should do is make a list. Do like a podcast, the five dumbest Pokemon, and then <laughs> we we're just, just. I'll try to collect pictures of them so we can have them on stream. That's what I want to do. We can just go to Bulbapedia and I'll have it on the screen and I'll just oh, go shit, next, next, next. We could totally do it. It would. Oh, it would yeah, work. We could. We could. Sorry, Del Fox. Yeah, we sorry, Del Fox. Do we don't. Uh... So they messed around with this UI on whatever this is, uh, Twitch, and I can't find the share button anymore to like share the stream. I can't help. Is it in the dots? Oh, that's the report. Settings. No. What's Kelfki? Oh. Okay. Sorry. Gen six, Gen five. It's Gen garbage. All this new, new trash. Cleft key? I don't know. Oh, cleft key. Cleft key, the keychain thing. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, how would we do the Alolan forms? Hmm. You know what I hate in Pokemon Go is you, like, I caught All a few it. of the Alolan forms, but it doesn't, like, like, I hate that it's not a different name in there. Like, they just count as the old, ugly Rattata, even though it's... Oh. It's like Italian Rattata, because it's got the mustache. Like, it's not a new Pokedex entry, it's just this guy again. Yeah. That like, I got, the, uh, I got the Alolan Executor, the giant one. You can't even see its head. In oh, the, the like, dildo? You, yeah, you load it up, and you can't even see it. Like, the head's gone, because it's too tall. <laughs> <laughs> just a picture of the neck and the base. Yeah. No, that. Delphox, they should have a different, like, prefix because, like, how Vulpix went from fire to ice, technically that's different in the Pokedex, so it should have a separate input thing. Yeah, I agree. I agree completely. Delphox, I don't, I, don't like, I don't like any of this Pokemon business. Digimon does not do this to its people. Digimon's arguably worse. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Digimon, they... like, from the jump, is just like, we don't give a shit. This guy's got a Gatlin gun. <laughs> so no fuck it. They're so cool. I remember I remember having an original Digimon, like, Neopet thing, where you, like, you hold the little square, and it's got a little shitty screen on it. Oh, and... yeah. I didn't have one of those. No one in my school liked Digimon. It was, like, me and one other guy. So I was like, I, I can't publicly admit I like this. <laughs> I think I liked it more as a kid because they would evolve essentially, but then they would like go back to their normal form. Yeah. And I was like, cool. You don't lose your cute little friend. I don't have this yeah. giant pig I, that's on fire. Following I agree. You. I like that. Cause it kind of seems like a waste to have a, Oh, this is Charmander. And now it's gone. Like, well, yeah. no, I want to, I'm going to still have that. I want to have a cool you know, dinosaur. If boy. Pikachu, if Pikachu was able to evolve into Raichu during the Pokemon league, Ash wouldn't have been such a loser. 
And then it could go back down to Pikachu after the match. Uh, yeah. You just described Mega Evolution. Yeah, 15 Doesn't years count. after Digimon. Yeah. It's not good. Yeah, they I'll... ruined Charizard. Well, they ruined Charizard. <laughs> he can change back. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> no, Digimon's the best, where it's just, oh, I'm Agumon, and now I'm a larger dinosaur as Greymon, and now I got metal arms and a missile comes out of my chest. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. love that, that shit. Was... All right, so what games are we talking about today? I don't know, there's hair in my mouth. <laughs> bleh, bleh. Okay. All right, hold on. Game. We'll start the show right, even though it's been going on for 10 minutes. Yeah, there we go. Talk about... There's, just think to yourself about Mega Evolutions, Delphox. I don't even think of Delphox as a Pokemon. I think of you. So when I'm like, oh yeah, that's a Pokemon. <laughs> to remind myself. Because oh, I don't pick um, fire starters. A lot of peers from IGN is joining Funhouse. I saw that. I saw I that. I was like, I was excited because she was pretty good in the videos they did. Yeah, she's. I I remember watching a video of hers years ago because she used to be on uh, Zelda Universe, the Zelda yeah, like Zelda. fan site. Oh, okay. And she did stuff for them. So that's pretty cool. Cool. But you think about yourself in the third person, Delphox. That's nice. We're going to start now. Get ready. Hold on to your face. Oh, I thought we started already. No. Speaking of Digimon, before we, we'll just never start the show. Speaking of Digimon, there are these blind boxes you can get with like little stuffed animals. And I got oh. a Greymon, like a little four inch tall Greymon plush, and a Gatomon. Which I'm That's very, cool. very happy I watched about. The, I watched the new Adventure Try series. Mm hmm. Pretty good pretty good a lot of digivolving the digivolving takes up like 60 percent of the show that's awesome i love yeah. that shit yeah but uh, it was a good good little season we should do after we do the degrassi podcast we should do oh, shit. the degrassi. digimon like season one rewatch yeah because <laughs> that i i watched it about six or seven years ago and it was still really good so we'll see if it holds up I'm telling you, if you haven't checked out All Systems Goku from Giant Bomb, we should oh, do yeah. something like that with, like, Digimon or Degrassi. Okay. But what's what do we have to do? Like, You just watch, like, four or five episodes, and oh. then we basically just run through them and talk That's, about okay. them, make comments on them. So we're That's not what watching they do. along. We're not watching along. Hell no. I think that might be a better idea. We could totally do that. Yeah. Because they, they do it with Dragon Ball Z Kai, and... There's like three episodes in a row that I was listening to where they just shit all over Yamcha. <laughs> yeah, you're saying that. <laughs> they're they're kind of such a. It's like, well, there's there's Yamcha. He's a real piece of shit. Being a real <laughs> son of a bitch again. <laughs> oh my god, that's, that's so good. Anyways, let's. All right, let's yeah, start sure. The show. Just start the show. All right, Adelphox, you can be on the Pokemon podcast. We'll get everyone in and we'll rank. Uh, not rank them. We'll just go through all the Pokemon. Be like but a seven. You can't say anything nice about Pokemon, though. No, we'll shit on every single one equally. Yeah, you have to be the devil, devil's advocate while we're the, what is it, positive... Angels. Peters. The best okay. people. <laughs> is it positive Peter? Positive <laughs> Peter. <laughs> I was thinking negative Nancy. <laughs> po positive I think Peter. Positive Peter. That's fucking gross. <laughs> All right, hello, welcome to Ben's OP Game Show. Recorded live, 6 p.m., Pacific Time, every Friday, twitch.tv slash GameFanatics. Sometimes we talk about Pokemon and Digimon for way too long <laughs> before the show officially starts. Uh, I guess it started 10 to 15 minutes ago, depending on uh, when Joel's computer was <laughs> switched off mysteriously. It, but, it happened. Yeah, so, oh yeah, Joel, you are here. I guess I'll introduce you, I don't know. I am here, and I just want to <laughs> say that that Digimon, no, Yokai Watch, are the Beetleborgs of the evolving I think, creatures. I think that's unfair to Beetleborgs. <laughs> I tried watching that the other day. Holy shit. Oh, I guarantee it's terrible. Awful. Then that one awful. kid has telekinesis. <laughs> that's all like, I remember. And I remember, like, I remember the original kids. And then when I watch it again, I'm like, who the fuck are these kids? <laughs> <laughs> I like these little assholes. <laughs> well, in, in one of the season, like, in between or something like that, one of the, the girl Beetleborg goes invisible and they can't find her for a while. And but she's talking, like she talks and everything. But then okay. they, when she comes back, it's a different actress. 
Oh, but I remember, uh, okay. <laughs> like, it changed, like, they changed the actress in the middle of the season. But at the same time, I was like, wait a minute. Like, when I was watching it, I was like, I don't remember any of these kids. <laughs> Having a fever dream. Did you ever yeah. watch? It took me years to figure out the name of this show because I loved it as a kid. I couldn't find it later, right? It's uh, Superhuman Samurai Super Cyber Squad. Samurai Cyber yeah. Squad. Yeah, I remember that shit. That show was so <laughs> cool. It had Matthew Lawrence in it. I don't know who that is. What? You don't You don't know who Matt Lawrence is? He, did you ever watch uh, Boy Meets World? Uh, no. Oh, my God. You no, were, I watched that show instead. Of, you were robbed of a childhood. They're going well, into... Was in that later. <laughs> <laughs> Robbed of a child. You're you're just older enough to me where I would be too young to watch Boy Meets World. Maybe. Just a few yeah. years. That's all it takes. That's a good show. That's a good show. No. The Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad, which is a horrible name, but was an excellent show. I thought it was based off the... What is it? The Siamon... The Siamon fucking show from Japan? It is. Oh, yeah, it is. Like, all of those are. Beat it is, okay. was, and... Well, yeah, I know that part. But I mean, that one exactly was from that one. It was. And what it turned out was that it was more popular in the States, but they ran out of episodes to use. Yeah. So they're like, yeah, I, I guess think, it ends. I think that's what happened with, like, Power Rangers. Well, no, like, they're they, still doing they, it. No, but, like, they they only do, like, quick run Because in Japan, you know, they don't do, like, continuous episodes of everything. Um, unless it's a new series, like Pokemon. Every new generation. That's just how they kind of run their stuff. They do it differently, Yeah. Yeah. Where, I'm not the I'm not the expert. Or like the... American television, you get 24 episodes of a show every season until it runs it into the ground and nobody wants to watch. You say it. that, but then if you go back and look at Digimon, like the first season of Digimon is like 60 episodes. I know. And it it's just nuts. goes on and on and on. Yeah. Good show. And there's a poop Digimon. Love it. <laughs> Did, Love. Are we talking about games at all? Yes, we're going to talk about games. So <laughs> this is this is where the game starts. You know what? The show is so off the rails. I'm gonna, I need to take uh, notes on timestamps. We had like 15 minutes of uh, of pre-show. Yeah, I'm gonna say uh, about here. So I kickstarted two games five to six years ago, and they both came out this last week on Tuesday. At the same time? Yeah. My God! And it, it it's two games that I was super anticipating for, you know, that entire goddamn time. Especially uh, Chasm, the first game I'll talk about, which I they had a demo. Like there was a demo of this game I played six years ago, and it was great. <laughs> uh, so I don't know. I don't know what happened. It was a very very small team. I looked at the credits. Uh, very small team, but. Do you are you familiar or interested at all in in Chasm? Uh, I've been hearing about it, and I think because I have Hollow Knight now, I'm not really looking for any more games that sure. are around that genre right now. So, as someone who who's beaten Hollow Knight and Chasm now, uh, Hollow Knight's you beat better. It My oh, God. Yeah. So, well, because I got it like Monday night or something. Yeah. Uh, and it's not but a very uh... long. It's Isn't very... it procedur procedurally yeah. generated? I mean, I'm assuming it's like tiles because they're like it's procedurally generated. We'll get to that in a like second. Um, because they actually do a really good job with that. Hot. I or get not. spelunky vibes from it. Not quite. Okay. But see, like this is someone else's gameplay, and I had this room, right? So I feel like they okay. just made a bunch of rooms and they procedurally generated how the rooms all went together. But it's like the same room, so it kind of has that handcrafted feel, but the rooms are yeah. out of order. It's very Castlevania, like it inspired. Is, it's I would very say, Castlevania. I it's, would say very copied. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, sure, you could say that, and and obviously, it, everything has its lineage of these games from Metroidvania. Yeah, roots. but like the whip, and then the way you're hitting the lanterns. Yeah, no, and definitely with the lanterns the whole goddamn time. On. You don't have to have a whip. Uh, I there's I had a sword for like the whole game. It almost looks like if Castlevania and Scott Pilgrim had a baby. The main character does look like Scott Pilgrim that you say that. Yeah, yeah that is true. Does he get written consent to show this gameplay? Shut up, 12-year-old. Get out of here. It's on YouTube. It's public. It's public. This is this is uh, Giant Bomb's gameplay. 
Yeah. But really, it's the same gameplay. So yeah, I had this room too. That's what I, so I'm feeling. <laughs> it is procedurally generated, so you can replay it over and over. But I did mention, yes, I did beat the game. This fucking rock guy is annoying. Um, did you get the platinum? No. Uh, there's a you have to be in hard and do all this other nonsense. But so it's not a very long game. It's like ten, a little bit over ten hours maybe, to do. Okay. And that was with like two hours of me getting lost and not knowing what to do. So it's it's kind of short for these types of games, I feel like. And while it does a really good job with the procedural generation, I totally would in six months, if you like, oh, I want to play this game again, I could go and play it again and it would be a different experience. And wait, that is my map. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> That's almost <laughs> the same map I had, though. I think I don't think there's like a huge amount of like different, but there is. There's like a whole code. Well, there's seeds, right? Like in yeah, Minecraft, there's a whole you can get a seed. seeds for that. Maybe there's not that many seeds. I don't know. That is yeah. weird, though. They sh they showed that map, and that is almost exactly what my map looked like for this area. But whatever. Uh, for being procedurally generated, it doesn't have, however procedurally generated it is, uh, it doesn't have a lot of those stupid rooms. That like are hallways to nowhere that are annoying. Like if, I don't. Yeah, know, you haven't. Yeah. Dead Cells hasn't officially come out yet, and I last played it a while ago. But Dead Cells has that a lot, where it's just the map is all over the goddamn place because it's procedurally generated, and it'll just spool into random spirals of nonsense where you just feel like that's not even fun. That's kind of more annoying than anything else, and this is uh, not that. They do a really good job of procedural generation. Maybe they don't. Maybe it's all the same rooms. I don't know, cause I had the same rooms. Maybe the did first. Did you listen? Um, I don't to... know what's happening. Did you listen to the bombcast no. this week? So Giant Bomb did like a, they had a huge discussion about it, and it was like good and bad, like very like meh. It's really see. Here's the thing. It's really good if you like an Aria of Sorrow type of Castlevania game. It's super excellent. I love all that about it. It it just does, like I said, it's short. There's like maybe six different areas you go into. There's not a lot of uh, weapon variety. Some yeah. of the enemies don't really... Like, it's just weird how it kind of... It's underwhelming, especially when it's a game that was six years in the making. It feels like, well, this is all you have after six years is a couple of areas and a game that I beat in like three days because I had the day off uh, and it's it's excellent like it is a really good game I just don't know if if it's what people are expecting yeah or, or wanting what were they saying about it um they were just saying they were talking about the procedurally generated rooms how they're not like they're, they're not too different as far as like like variety like Look they're just map. structured a little bit differently, not not enough to be like to where you notice, you know, yeah, all the yeah. time. You're like, wow, this is very different. Well, as I as I got backer updates and stuff about it, a lot of the updates for at least the first year or so were about this procedural generation engine and and stuff they were working on. Like they were working on the process for it for so long to get it down. I, I mean, they're. You know, they don't really ever seem too impressed by any game. <laughs> That's good. But, <laughs> like, I mean, it looks awesome. It's just, like, there's such a... There's almost an oversaturation of these types of games now that if it's not a certain one that you're already paying attention to, it's sure. going to pass by and you're going to ignore it. Um, I am I was watching someone play, like, Hollow Knight the other night, and he was really deep into the game, and it made me want to play it. And so that is a game that is kind of just on the surface of my mind that I'm like, I can't wait to get back to that. And then when Chasm came, you know, all this talk about Chasm, I'm like, Chasm. I just... Chasm, my bad. <laughs> I said Chasm for a while, too. Okay. I don't know what words I, you are. Know, every time I see it, like, every time I read it, I say Chasm. But I have to talking, think about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, Chasty. Um, ooh. 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 But, yeah, I mean, it, I think I'm just... I The graphics on it don't grab me. Okay. I I don't know. I I just I'm not super interested in playing it. Gotcha. Maybe maybe later on. I'll play I it. I mean I would say uh 
is to all tell right, people Will, to read. All right, Will. <laughs> yes, and so go read. Giant bomb made up of former members from GameSpot. Are you actually gonna tell them? I'm just yeah. Quick rundown. Oh so God. they do videos and they do podcasts. They they kind of did what Rooster Teeth does, where you pay Jeez, a premium on their side and get exclusive material. Um, they are funny, but they're also really old <laughs> gamers, so they're kind of jaded sometimes. But they are I, funny. Why would you say? I think, I like think that? they are hilarious. Well, they're funny. Right. And they've added new people to kind of give them that youthful excitement juice. Mm, I love youthful um, juice. But I do find a lot of games because of them. Like I, you know, I heard so much about FTL and uh, what's it called? Into the, uh, into the breach. Yeah. Because of them. Um, what else am I playing? Because of them. Uh, Hero Academy Two on mobile, which is actually surprisingly fun. Um, yeah, I don't know. They're fun, and I really like the Giant Beast cast. Really funny another part of giant bomb and they have really good exclusive premium series so yeah we're not as old as them though i mean some of them are like almost 50 we're we're gonna be there soon i'm in my early 30s old and dead and i'm only getting younger oh wow it doesn't work like that <laughs> if you need if you need youthful juice you know where to look you grandpas <laughs> Winky what are we gonna do gr- drink you <laughs> <laughs> wait why why are we drinking him? <laughs> Will's younger. Oh, Will's younger. We'll drink Will first. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> but yes, McChasm looks... Mick? It looks like a good game. It's just not... I, it's probably one I'm going to hold off on for a It while. is a really good game. I think the problem with this game is... like, It was a really fun demo I played six years ago, and I played it at E3, and I haven't been to E3 in four years or so, so it's, it's a while. Uh... It just feels like this has been released after Axiom Verge, after other Metroidvania games like this, like Hollow Knight, and it's not as good as those games. It's just not as good as Axiom Verge or as Hollow Knight, especially Hollow Knight, which I think is probably, it's up there with Symphony of the Night and uh, Super Metroid as the, yeah. like some of the best Metroidvania game ever made. This is nowhere near that. It is very good. Easily the upper tier of, like, there's a lot of games like this, you know, on Steam and whatever in the indie marketplace. This is one of the better ones. It's just... Do you, do you think it was worth the wait, maybe? and Or do you feel like maybe they spent too long on certain graphics? So what I... I actually... I never uh, did this, but I wrote, like, half a script for... Uh, kind of about kickstart like why i don't kickstart stuff anymore and why like why does it take so long and yeah. why are some kickstarters so delayed from what think they final say final fantasy 15 wasn't on kickstarter yeah it might as well have been because <laughs> stuff like chasm it was in 2013 or 2013 yeah 2013 i think was yeah you know when it was and it said like oh we're gonna release i don't have the actual dates but it doesn't really fucking matter because it was four years late uh, oh, December 2014. And it's like, how can you be four years off with your timeline? You know what I mean? Yeah, that's, that's like that's, that's crazy. I don't care how small your team is. Four years off is really off. <laughs> like, that's way off. I'll give you two years, but four years, that's way off. And I think they could have, in this thing I never tightened up, I basically made the argument that they could have released a lesser version of this two years ago and then be releasing chasm 2 right now and have basically published two games of similar quality from this instead of having the one that they took six years to make and you know like i I feel like this was a case of we're just trying to be so perfect that they got lost in that yeah isn't that how holy (laughs) will is yeah it is uh He's going to get banned from Twitch again. I know. It's going to be our fault this time, which makes it even better. Yeah. And off-putting to explain things to the listeners. <laughs> no, that, that question's too hard, Will, and that's, those words are too big for you. Yeah. Just so, once I see capitalist, and then I see, like, landscape. Landscape? That That's... It's over my head. <laughs> Once I see the last two words in the sentence. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but okay, <laughs> Chasm was really good. It, it, whether its map is the same as this map that is totally my exact map, uh, I, 
I don't know. I know people have had some complaints. If you look at the Steam page, it's mixed reviews. There's a lot of backtracking. There's a few times where it doesn't tell you where you need to go that are kind of annoying. But yeah. figuring out how to route these enemies is a lot of fun. They're all pretty varied and like, oh, if I jump here and dodge that there, they all have a little strategy to them that makes it different. And I really enjoyed it. Like, that's why I beat it already, because it was really good. But it, it was it was kind of like a fun appetizer or like a really good cake. Like, I don't really want to eat this cake. cake. Wait, do you, I don't know, maybe the, do you eat cake for an appetizer? That's what I'm saying. It's a weird thing to eat. I don't know. <laughs> This, this whole metaphor is just blowing Let's up. Let's order some apps. Yes, I'll take a lava cake. <laughs> I'll take some cake. <laughs> Sir, no. We're just not going to let you do that. Yeah, Twitch is... Oh, working. is it? Yeah. It's all right, well, we're good. It doesn't matter. The recording is fine. Yeah. Um, tell so me. what's this La Mulana? Is it, a, is it like Mulan's cousin? Yeah. Is it like the knockoff version? It's definitely, it's definitely the knockoff version of, uh, of Mulan. Uh, I'm waiting for waiting. Chasm to get back to, uh, the map. There's the map. Fuck. I need him to go to the catacombs to see what the next map is because I don't understand how they could have the same map as me. You know what I mean? Yeah. And we're back weird. now, yeah. Okay, he's going to the area. We just got, I gotta look at this. Go, go through the map. Go, go, go. I'm gonna pause it and look at the map and I'll tell you how. I'm so confused that the share button disappeared on this thing. It's really weird. They did change their layout. They, there was an email about that. Yeah, but like, I, I see that part too. I just don't see where Why? you can like. Who the fuck is playing this game where they just fall into lava? Like, look, the lava damages you. Oh, that's mean. It was probably Ben. It's not me. not you, Ben. The other Ben, the one oh, from okay. the second. <laughs> this is up. Uh, pause it. That's the same pause exact what? map I have. I don't know. That is the same exact map. Well, I don't know what that means. I have no idea what that means. If everyone who Kickstarter backed it accidentally got the same fucking map, I don't know. Maybe I'll pop into the game and and make a new map and see what happens. Yeah, that's weird. That's super strange. Because if it's not procedurally generated, then it's not super... Yeah, I only get like four views. Give me another one. Uh, yeah, dude. It's not... That's not impressive, then. If it's not... But it has to be. Maybe it's the same layout, but the rooms are different? But the rooms are the same. Oh, boy. The plot thickens here. The plot really thickens. Oh, we need to do that Pokemon podcast. Look, we're just going to give it a second here to look at this uh, map. Are they going to ever get off the map screen so I can just see the next area or no? Nope. Unbelievable. Thank you. How peculiar. Go to the next room and then I'll move on. Yeah, it's the same, same exact. I'll have to look that up because that's really strange. Man, I still need to edit the uh, all the Moobot stuff to like reflect our current <laughs> schedule. <laughs> oh yeah, I have no idea how to Moobot, so I'm sorry. Anyways, right. that the other game and looks a, exactly like the last one. I know. <laughs> That's the thing that makes it even funnier. <laughs> is I kickstarted these two Metroidvania games, uh, and they both came out the same goddamn day. But La Mulana Two. Oh my gosh! Is is that the sequel? Looks a lot like uh, Spelunky, kind of. It now see this game also came out the same time of, of the original Spelunky. They both the first <laughs> one, so there is a, a little bit of similarity going on. <laughs> but the first oh game, I I never beat the first game, but I really enjoyed it, and it's it's much more of a hardcore quote unquote. Metroidvania game. It's a lot slower. Oh my god, it's Master Roshi from Dragon It is Ball. Master Roshi. <laughs> <laughs> but it it's uh so it's a lot slower, a lot more just like obtuse with these weird m mysteries and puzzles and you're you have to figure out uh, cuz if you've never played it, you don't know that you need to equip this scanner just to read blocks of text on the side of things and you don't know like oh that's a switch and that's a trap. So what it feels like 
is imagine if you were Indiana Jones and you found a ruin and you went to explore it and that's it. Like there's story and stuff oh. going on, but you're just let loose in this giant ruin and there's traps and there's mysteries and there's things where, like you'll read a sign and it'll say like it's some kind of weird riddle and it'll be like, well, don't don't break this thing or otherwise you'll be attacked. But it says it in a riddle way. Which essentially means don't like don't pull out your weapon in this room. So then you gotta kind of, like <laughs> run away from the guys while you're in the room because you can't do it otherwise you'll get zapped with lightning. And you're solving weird puzzles like that, how to push this block so I can uh, activate a switch and open up this other doorway. Oh, it's weird. all about okay. navigating. Well, this, one, this one looks pretty cool. I like it. Yeah, and I really like the style of it. It's all about is navigating it, the labyrinth of it all. Is it on PC only? I believe it's PC only. The other one came to Vita, so it might come to yeah other places later. Is Chasm going to Switch? Not that I know of. Okay. But probably. Switch uh, wasn't around back then. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> uh, it's ridiculous. It's coming out on Wii U and Vita. <laughs> and there is a Vita. Well, it's cross by. <laughs> Okay, so that's what we'll get to in a minute, Delphox. I, we can get there now. I, I've played about six hours of La Mulana 2. My God. And I feel like, well, I had Wednesday and Friday off, so I didn't really have a lot oh, going yeah. on. I was going to say, I think six hours is like the max that I've played this week. <laughs> yeah, I haven't had to day off, so I played this today for a lot of the day. Uh, I think La, La Mulana 2 is, is better. Like, th for me, oh, this, is, okay. this is the more... It looks it looks different enough to where I think it, it'd be more interesting than Chasm. It, I don't know what the fuck they're doing in this gameplay. I should have just recorded my own. Jesus Christ. But You should. <laughs> I should have. I was lazy. But I do think it's a ton of fun to navigate this, this ruin. Like, like I was saying, it starts with this kind of tutorial area. Then you go to the next one, and it starts opening up a little bit. And yeah. it starts you in this middle this is actually the area and there's kind of four corners of it and you're figuring out where to what to do where to go and there's all these kind of cryptic sayings on the side of these runes and it's like is this a clue or is this just a weird thing someone wrote here and the monsters aren't really they're not about doing huge attacks or, or crazy whatever they're like a slow skeleton they're, they're more like obstacles kind of like spelunky where you're not really fighting it's it's more about just navigating your way through it smartly. But anyway, I get through this area, get through the first uh, after this area, and then there's four. I just start exploring, right? And it opens up, and there's four or five different areas I'm going to. I'm finding this warp like uh, hallway of blood or something, and I'm going through that, and I I pop out, and there's like an ice demon on the other side, and I run back in, and and then I go back into the hallway of blood. And now it's turned a different way, and I exit in a different place, and I don't know where the hell I'm going, and and it just lets you go loose, and you get lost in this labyrinth in a way that so few games let you. Like imagine Super Metroid or Symphony of the Night, but you could explore half of it from the start, and that's what this game feels like. What it just like go you go over there if you can get there you can kind of get there and maybe you don't have an item but you'll open up some doors and you'll try and figure your way out and it's so fun getting lost in it there there's a lot of problems potentially in getting confused or lost or tripped up with some of the way it kind of tells you things or doesn't tell you things there was one spot very very early on where i didn't know what to do <laughs> And what I had to do was just attack this thing and break it, but I didn't know. So, like, that was... Now I just know, like, I'll try and attacking some things, but... The art is really weird. Like, it's... the the way the characters look, like, the sprites, compared to, like, the background. Oh, yeah. Well, that's another thing about it, too, is it's hard to tell what's something you need to interact with versus he's gonna die. Versus, um... <laughs> the squish uh what is just like a panel on a wall or is that a panel i need to attack is that useful is that relevant at all like you know how the old resident evil games that have a flashing thing on their items so you could see them that they're in the room this game doesn't do that so 
there might be a switch over there and if you don't see it it's it's still there and you still need to press it but the game's not gonna tell you weird okay um, and, and that's kind of the fun of it in a way, especially with the first game. There's like whole crazy documents of trying to understand its mysteries and figure out like, do I go this way? Do I go that way? Uh, if you get this item and you go there, like the first game d uh, did this too. It's in the second game um, where there's this tombstone and it says like, hey, don't read me again. Don't you dare read me again. And you're like, okay, you're just a, you're just a tombstone. Fuck you. And you read it again, <laughs> and then it's like, okay, you've been cursed, and a bunch of enemies pop out, and though what it's doing, it just turned on hard mode, and you can't turn it off. Weird. And that's what I did my first playthrough of the first game, was I turned on hard mode, and I was like, man, this game's really hard. <laughs> but I'd gotten yeah. cursed, and it just does weird stuff like that, that other, like, games don't do this, and... Not to say, like, this is like Dark Souls, but it is very much like Dark Souls, where, like, I don't know what the hell's going on. You'll fall through holes in the ground, and you're in, like, a completely uh, different area now. You're like, how do I get back? What do I do? Do I, And, like, uh, do I keep going? Do I, like, turn around and do this? I keep finding items like that, and I don't even know what they're for. It's, But that's, like, the fun of it. And Yeah. And it, uh, there's it's a really, really big game. Because sometimes I'm six hours in, I've fought one no two bosses maybe maybe and there's six other areas i've seen that i haven't completed like there's so much in this and it it's a ton of fun to just explore and wander around and and it can be annoying if you die and have to backtrack and like you have to do it again you know because you died so there is some there is that dark souls like do i teleport back to town and heal or do i press on or like do i risk it so you do end up having to repeat things uh, hmm. if you die and you will die like there will be moments of oh i fell through this hole that i d it was a trap right or yeah i i stepped on this switch and the switch just caused the ceiling to crush me <laughs> like, and you just have to remember don't go over there that's i what saw the, the guy get crushed by like those rocks he yeah. broke like the pillar <laughs> yeah stuff like that where it's just and that's what it what it feels like is you're just exploring these ruins. I don't know what the hell's going on. You'll get these items that are from the first game that are just total nonsense where it's like caltrops. And so now I, I got to the point where uh, there's like this little switch in the ground, but it's really low in the ground. And I'm throwing caltrops behind me to fall into the switch to press the switch. Like it doesn't even make any goddamn sense. I fought this uh, fish monster and I was fighting, and like the water poisons you, so I'm in the water fighting the fish monster, like jumping out of the water so it's not poisoning me, as the fish is just running back and forth. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. It's, it seems pretty crazy. But I, I'm I've more really, interested in that game than I am in... In, in Chasm. Chasm. I've really enjoyed it, and I, I went to Chasm because it was, like, I think I'm gonna like... Like, La Mulan is one of those things I can't stop and come back to because it's because of how the maps are it's yeah. so confusing and you'll get like where the fuck was i going i don't know what's happening so i didn't want to play them both at the same time so i was like i'll play chasm first and yeah i chasm's really good chasm is a solid eight out of ten and so far la milana 2 is like way exceeding what i what i wanted from it it's totally ah oh, it's so good it's so much fun it it is rough around the edges it is annoying and obtuse but that's kind of the charm of it. Yeah. I, I really liked it. Really, really liked it. I did find one piece of news. What's the bell one? Generally, the best place a trap is in an unexpected area. The butt. <laughs> but that was that was the thing I'm talking about. This is what I've always wanted Dark Souls to do. And it did it in La Mulana too, where there was an item. There was like a little cutscene. And these guys dropped an item and they ran away. And I'm like, oh, let me go get that item that they dropped. And right before the item is a... Uh, a hole that appears and you fall and you fall like five screens and then you land on spikes and the spikes knock you into another hole and then you land again <laughs> next to a save spot and I'm like well that sucks <laughs> like, <laughs> that was awful but it was so cool I, I love I love moments like that where it's just it's so unexpected and there's so much these maps are huge and and maybe it's confusing on purpose where the map they give you is garbage and that's kind of fun and kind of annoying like it, it's it toes the line of being just 
too mean, but it's not that mean. Mm-hmm. That it, it's like a perfect balance. What's the news you found? Oh, it's Fortnite news. So everybody's gonna be super. God interested. damn it! Gotta get those clicks. Gotta get those views. You know. I don't put Fortnite. Even if we talk <laughs> about it, what am I put? It's the headline now. <laughs> well. <laughs> So it's not going to the Google Play Store. They're going to oh, that's right. side sidestep it and go through like I think their website or something. Because the the Google Play Store wants like a thirty percent cut. Yeah. Which makes but me think the I wonder, App Store do that too? I don't think they take that much. But that's crazy because there's a lot more Android devices out there, so you think they would just make it easier? <laughs> Fort news. I um, But what are they doing instead? Like how does it work? You go to like their website and like the mobile version of their website. I think that's just a APK file that you download. Wow. I think I'm not hundred percent sure. Um, huh. The other news is Dragon Ball Z fighters um, beta for the switch is coming August 10th. I think that's weird. Something like that, but they're, they're running it at weird hours. Japan. That's the, that's a Nintendo thing. They do that with all their betas. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, you want to play this game? Well, it has to be from 6 a.m. Pacific time to 9 a.m. Or, like, I need an abacus to figure this out. I can't do that. And I need to talk to my mom about hiring a Fortnite tutor. Oh, for you? Yes. Hmm. I I saw... (laughs) How... Not too late. How shitty of a parent... Are you? <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's not. Uh, maybe it's not a shitty parent. But no, it's well, just... this, this is what I'm thinking. Okay, most like pro gamers don't have tutors. So uh-huh. if you're already at a point where you're not good at the game to where you need a tutor, you're not gonna make it, kid. I don't. I like the best way. Newsflash is uh, to get better. Is to probably just play more of the game. <laughs> So what is the tutor doing? Because you're not gonna, like you're saying, you're not gonna become pro if you're not very good. So you just Hopefully need to get whipping you with something. Just insane. Get better. Just build play faster. It. Yeah, build faster. Build it beautiful. Uh, build it beautiful. So just play it more, and you'll probably get better. It's a weird. Better. Um, I just downloaded the P the P the PS4 Black Ops 4 beta oh uh-huh. got my code this morning i'm excited is, are you i i've heard really good things about it okay okay like all over the place people are just like dude this is awesome it's smooth it's fluid the map's great has me excited because world war Two was a good game but i am just not into old tiny weapons so it made mm. the multiplayer not fun because i'm like cool i got this uh new gun no red dot sight. No hollow graphic sight. I can't <laughs> see through walls. This, this is sucks. garbage. I'm shooting with a gun that sounds like my bicycle. Like, <laughs> this just was not cool. But I'm really excited for Black Ops 4. And then I think the week, not the week, the month after, they're doing the beta for Blackout, which I am also excited for. Oh, so we'll finally know what it is. Yes. And I'm actually going to be writing an impressions piece on the Black Ops 4 beta, so I better make sure I um, play it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see... I don't know what the fuck I'm going to write about. I want to see what that blackout whatever the hell is. I'm very... Not very. I'm interested. Yeah, me too. I'm excited. I'm excited for it. You know, it's... I don't get super deep into like Fortnite anymore. I don't get super deep into any multiplayer game, really. Um, mm-hmm. I've started playing siege a little bit just because it's so different from anything i've played and it's it's a type of gameplay or game mode that i usually don't like but for some reason Hmm. using different operators in rainbow six siege just changes it up enough and it's cool and it's like having to work together as a team and you know getting yelled at because you didn't do it right (laughs) find that part exciting (laughs) but i don't know it's really weird like i because i i think I think each kill that you get in that game, you feel really good about it. I mean, there's only five other people on the opposite team, 
But you get like two kills and you're like, fuck, I almost just won this game for us. We just need to finish the other guys. And it could be like uh like you you might be two against four, and then all of a sudden it's two v one because you've just turned the whole game around. Like it's just so intense and it's uh it's awesome. It seems like they found a nice balance of like that old counter strike kind yeah, of Yeah, and what's cool about it too is like if you have if you want to play with some friends but you don't want to get into like multiplayer, you can do like the terrorist hunt where it's just like it's just like a back and forth of defending the hostage or defusing the bomb or whatever but it's co-op you're against like um bots and stuff and then they also have like if you're just wanting to practice yourself you can do the situation so it puts you in different scenarios and then you can kind of go through it and try to figure out how to play it which i should have done a lot more before jumping into multiplayer but i got kind of got the hang of it now but there's just cool moments like where you put like a bomb on the wall and then you set it off and it blows the wall up and they can't see anything, but you can run through and just start shotgunning them. <laughs> I don't know. It was it's uh it's had pretty cool moments like that. That's cool. There's some people that are just so good at it. Like there's so many different operators, even just with the standard pack that I got, and I don't know what most of them do. Yeah. So it's been really fun to kind of, like, mess around with their tech and stuff like that. It's just so different, because I've been, like, kind of burnt out on Fortnite. I'm not really interested in World War II's um, multiplayer. Don't really want to play PUBG. So it's just been hard to find something to get competitive in, and that's kind of been where I landed. It's really weird. Hmm. What was the game we were talking about that we were like, oh, let's talk about this on the show? No Man's Sky? What was that? Maybe not No Man's Sky. Maybe it was No Man's Sky. I have no idea what it was. Yeah, I don't remember. But was it Stardew well, Valley? Oh, it was Stardew Valley, yeah. Yeah, we've been talking about that. Or we were talking about it. Um, I'm going to jump back into it. I, I've been play- I've played it a lot on Switch. Um, and got super deep into it. But not like in the actual progress of the game. Like, I just got my chicken coop built, but I don't have any chickens in it yet because I'm still working my way to that. Um, but I'm going to start playing it on PC more just because I want to do multiplayer, and multiplayer just came out on August 1st. And so I really. As these games I played. I know, man. Everything came out August 1st. But it would be really cool to get me, you, and Logan if he ever comes back. And, oh, he'll um, definitely play Stardew Valley. And Bell Fox, or Will. But one of see, you guys. how does I? That's what I don't know. Is how does this multiplayer work? Are we going to each other's towns? Can we all start a town and just count it up together? That I don't. I don't know. I don't know how it works. I I want to try it out. I guess that's why I need someone else with it, with a copy of it. It'll the multiplayer. I think eventually comes to consoles. So, like, Switch and Yeah, but how does the multiplayer... Like, what are you doing? Oh, Delphox. Delphox says, I love playing Stardew multiplayer. Yeah, so he's he big might, He might know. He might know. But we how should, does it work? <laughs> you go to a person's farm, and then you shit on their lawn. No, you I'm use, not... You go into their house, mm-hmm. and you clog the toilet... Just that's, awful. That's, just awful. You just become that neighbor. I see. What I don't... I want in this multiplayer thing, I want it to be where we all start a town and farm things. Yeah. And if there's, there might be a mod. If there's single player plot, it just... Other people don't see that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but Bell everyone Fox. sees the farm. Explain to us... In text, how does Star Multiplayer fall? What is the game again? Star how Do. does Stardew Valley's yeah <laughs> Stardew Valley's multiplayer work? What the fuck is this game? Please explain if, it to me. If I join your game and plant something, if I go into my own game, can I go back to your farm or that farm and take my crops? There's too many questions and possibly burn your house down that's the thing i want it to be the one farm i don't want multiple farms 
One sec. Uh, we Do need answers now. Things. We need answers now. These are really pressing um, issues. Well, while you while you decide what to tell us, have you played any more No Man's Sky? Uh, I'm trying to think of what I played this last week. Uh, and more Danganronpa yeah. 2 on stream. How about No Woman's Sky? What the hell's going on here? Well, there's no one is first person. You can be anything you want. Someone starts the farm and starts playing. It's super cheap to build a cabin on your farm, which will allow someone to join and live in that cabin as a farm help. It's all one farm. But it's not there. See, maybe someone else should start a town, and then I just go and help them. Because... Why don't I start one, since I'll probably play it more. And then That's you what guys... I'm saying. I'll play at least. And then you guys do all the work. While I sit back and drink iced tea and play my band. I just said I'm going to do no work, though. Damn it. Okay, well, at least I won't be lonely. Because okay. right now my dog follows me around, but it doesn't do anything. Well, I'm not going to follow you. I'll, can I kill your dog? What What can I... No! Maybe... <laughs> All right, here's what we'll do. One of these days, we'll just have to do it, and we'll stream it, and we'll figure it out what the hell this multiplayer is. Yes. We should stream it, and then we should put it up as a either a Let's Play or a Twitch video. Perfect. We can thing. do that. And I'll be your farm boy. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing weird about that. No, not at all. You can have like three have cabins. Like... And you stay in that same cabin forever. So yeah, you can, can invite you, three people. Can to your you town. take stuff like to your own game though? Like let's say I made a really cool pickaxe. Do I have to leave it in your game or can mm. I take it to my own can game I... when my farm is more advanced? Can I harvest all your foods and then leave? <laughs> Can Ben harvest your organs and then leave? And then leave and sell them in my town where it's not illegal or weird. He said no. Nope. So you can't take anything back? Deal breaker. Oh. It stays in game. Okay, but that's, that's fine. That's like Minecraft. Okay, so we'll just pretend it's all our farm. But that that's the... Ugh. If I'm not able to see <laughs> the goals of this farm and I'm just like some doofus on payroll, like, I don't want to do that. Well, we could just... Uh, you could essentially, like, assign each other certain goals kind of like um kind of like minecraft right like hey i'm gonna do all the corn and the, far the farm stuff you guys go collect all the wood and brick and crap like that okay uh, you'd have to start a new game we'll start a town and we'll cool. just farm I, I guess i have a pretty fresh game okay uh, i'll delete them and start brand new just not that i uh -huh. even know i've never played the game so okay you but i get... played harvest moon a lot so i i know the idea See if you can get your money back from uh, Chasm. And, uh, I kickstarted it six years ago. Well, do you have a receipt? No, <laughs> no, but I did buy Logan a copy for $3 because they gave oh, it to geez. me. They were like, we couldn't get PS4 because the PS4 wasn't around. If you want to change to a PS4 copy, you can just pay us $3. I'm like, okay. Yeah, Logan, Thanks. you want a copy? That works. $3. Uh, plus, I kickstarted the game for like 12 bucks. It's $20. So That's no, I can't get my money back for a game I bought ten years ago. Is Stardew not on sale right now? I don't think so. I've been waiting for it to drop a little low, and it just never does. Oh, it's fourteen ninety nine. Is that the normal price? That is the normal. Price. I'm acting like that's a ton of money. <laughs> that is not a lot of money. Like ben, you just bought. I didn't buy these two games I played this week. Okay, they. I, I bought them five years ago. Yeah, he bought them a long ass time ago. So you haven't spent any money this week? No. Though. Shockingly. Oh, Elf except boxes. for the $3 for Chasm. Bro, let me join your town. I love Stardew. Let's, okay, let, do Elf it. Box Start a seems town. Like a dangerous person. Should we? I mean, can, can we kill the other people in the town? I don't know. Is there a friendly fire? I can you know. start fires? It's not on sale. I feel like it's going to be on sale randomly. It's always, it, it, it'll pop up on sale every now and then. But I think because the multiplayer came out, um, it might not be well, on sale for a while. I don't see it unless it's on one of the random I don't know. It was on sale. Okay, last summer sale, it was eight ninety nine, and I didn't buy it. Oh, and I should have bought it then. That's when I bought Hollow Knight, because I was like, I know it's going to go on sale. And then I was, I was going to wait. But once I saw the leak for, like, the uh, summer sale, I was like, okay, cool. All right, then I'll get it. I don't know. I mean, I would say get it. 
I might just get just so it. We can try it. Anyway, it's just only fifteen dollars. Get it, man. I have I have Steam money, so it's not really it's not real. Oh. It's not real money. <laughs> not real money. That's what I did. I got those the Twitch Prime PUBG loot, right? So I opened yeah. up PUBG to get the loot to just sell it, and I it doesn't look like I can sell the loot. Delphox jumped into my No Man's Sky game the other day, but I had to leave. Huh. That was fun. I haven't I haven't played any. Oh, that's why I was trying to remember what if I played anything. No, I didn't, because it was Danganronpa, didn't play anything on Sunday, and then Monday I had a uh, Chasm. Cool, cool. Didn't, I'm like, so... Nothing. It's so weird, because, and I, and I heard this on the Beast cast, one of the guys felt the same way, where, like, you hear all this cool stuff about No Man's Sky, and all these people having these cool adventures with it, and all that stuff. And they're all lying. And then you go, no, and then you go to play it, and you're just like, man, I really don't feel like playing this, because there's still some systems in that game that drive me nuts. That's all I was saying. I want to play it just on the create mode, where I'm just a space pilot flying But that's around. the one thing, is, like, I like, like, I hated playing minecraft on creative because i feel yeah. like it loses the purpose i agree well i think what they did with the next update is they added in more of like the story go here and do that and go here and do that but yeah. like the original game was such not that that i was playing it the other way and what i need to do is just follow the story it's quote unquote trying to make me do so it'll teach me these recipes because i don't have anything and I, I need these things to explore i just want to explore you know that's all I want yeah. to do. Take pictures and explore. That's literally it. Wash. I do want to play more of that game. I do. Like I sat down and played it the other day, and it was uh, it was it was fun, and like I got into it, and then I've just I like I I even heard someone talking about the fact that like they've unlocked a hyperdrive thing that lets them get to planets that are black and white. Like it changes the whole visual. There's one oh. planet where it's like hexadecimal like tile, but it's all black. Oh, and I saw this crazy one in it, like with oh, like floating man. donuts and weird yeah. garbage. Like, it's so fucking cool. That's what I, I I should just create. But the other thing is it's so hot, and this game like my PC is basically a space heater <laughs> <laughs> when this game is running because it's just <sighs> fucking crazy. It's so hot. Maybe when it cools down, I'll play this game. <laughs> so well, this explains a lot, the whole thing I had with my computer, because the other day I was loading up Rainbow Six and I had just put on like the HD texture map pack thing mm -hmm. that they came out with. And I was playing it. I went to go load in a game and I kicked my cord and it shut off my computer. Good. And I was like, did my game just crash my whole computer? So I loaded it up again, loaded the game, was about to go in a match. And it happened again, and I was like, fuck, dude, really? I know you can handle this. Come on. <laughs> and now I realize it's because I kicked the damn power cord, which is my outlet right here, I guess, is fucked. Mm hmm. We'll stop kicking yes. things. I know. Now I'm inspired and pumped to play Stardew Valley, although I do have to play Call of Duty beta when I can. We'll play that, because that's going to be a while till I get to Stardew. Because I realize Dead Cells officially comes out next week. Jeez. Oh, and We Happy Few, another game I bought forever ago, comes out next Friday. Damn. Uh, I think, and the week after that is uh, Death's Gambit. Death's. Is that Gambit. another like Metroidvania? It's another Metroidvania game, yeah. That Good I'm gonna play. Lord. I it's love the Metro new. It's the new Battle Royale. Oh, I fucking love it, though, because these are good. <laughs> like, we're getting good Metroidvania games right now, and I, that is my jam. There's just so many. Oh, uh, especially if you didn't play Hollow Knight before and you're playing it now. Yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> that's what. That's what's so funny, though, is, like, I think Hollow Knight will still stand above the rest. I Hollow Knight... La Mulan is really good, but Hollow Knight is more accessible. Accessible or whatever. Yeah. Poor Metroid's gonna finally come out, and then everyone's gonna be like, we're fucking tired of these games, man. Well, it's like uh, Samus Returns or whatever came out last year. Uh, finally, you know, Nintendo releases a 2D Metroid, and it was yeah. fine. You know, it was good, but Hollow Knight's better than that game. I they played this indie game, it's only on Steam, that's uh, Momodora Reverie mm -hmm. Under the Moonlight, I think. 
And <laughs> we need procedurally generated games. Do you mean like genres? I think you like you get it, and it's one game. It's like, oh, cool, it's a cool Metroidvania, and then it, and then it's, the next room is a fucking RPG, and then it's the all the room. same characters, but now it's an FPS. Like, oh, that's I weird. would stop playing it when we get to like a narrative-driven story game. I'm like, oh, gone <laughs> like home. a walking sim. Oh, no, You're like no. But no, this Momodora game I played. It's a four-hour Metroidvania game that is better than most <laughs> Metroidvania games. It is incredibly good, but it's very short but super well made and beautiful. Loved that game. I love, that's probably my favorite genre is the Metroidvania game. I, I guess. I'm trying to sense. think what mine is. Well, I'm, I'm not even, I don't even know. I guess it would be since I'm playing so many of them and I don't get, I like, I just play it. I, and that's the thing is, it's not a roguelike. All the, all the games I like, that's why I like Chasm more than Dead Cells is because it's not a roguelike. There aren't, it's not about dying and then like getting better in some kind of weird mechanic. It's about actually getting better with new equipment and exploring and the procedurally generated maps in Dead Cells make it feel lesser and you're repeating them. You're going back through them over and over and over. And I didn't think they were very good. I don't know. I, I didn't, it's a good game. I understand why people like Dead Cells a lot. It's just not, it didn't do it for me. That's not the game I bought mm -hmm. in early access a year ago, and it comes out. All right, I'll play it again. I guess. I yeah. Hell if I know. I'm trying to. I mean, I like RPGs enough, but I think I'm more like I like more action RPGs. I like, like the like the action on JRPGs. Also me. Yeah. Yeah. The Nino Kuni twos of the world. Nino oh, they're coming out with free content for it. Aside from the um, DLC that's coming out. I saw that. There's a there's a couple things. There's like new story stuff, new dungeon, end game new dungeon enemies. thing. New enemies, new outfits for everybody. So I might, I might jump back in just to play that stuff. Wow. <laughs> I told myself I'm, I wouldn't. I'm interested in seeing what the outfits are because I really like. I uh, love the outfits. They were so cool. Yeah, the outfits were good. Is this just the talk about random shit podcast? I mean, it kind of is. Yeah, I mean, we didn't really have that much news to no. talk about. I could talk about Lama Lana 2 more. Lama, that game, I don't know if I'll beat it. That's like a 30-hour game. Let's talk about what we want to plant in Stardew Valley. Everything. I'm going to go we, with no, it's, it's what No, you can't do that. You can't do that in that game. Can't do I that. wonder what kind of mods they have for it. If they have I any wanna, cool mods. I want to plant, like, eggs. And they, so the eggs grow on trees. I just want to talk about weird shit. Eggs? Yeah, like <laughs> like eggs on trees. <laughs> or it's like a chicken tree. Like, I gotta get the chickens from the chicken tree, and then you put them in the coop. <laughs> I don't think Stardew Valley has any mods in the workshop. That's too bad. My egg tree is not gonna work? No. Starbound has a ton of mods, so does Planet Coaster. I don't think Stardew Valley needs mods. Well, the multiplayer, I think the multiplayer was a mod at first that they ended up doing. Sure, but now it's an official fun time thing. Oh, they do have mods. Ooh. Well, we got like a special rake. Ooh. Better crafting. Mod update menu. They've got a community farm, which I guess is the... Oh, what shit. I wanted? Yeah. They have... You can replace your dog with a Digimon. Well, that sounds like <laughs> oh, a good mod cool. for me. <laughs> Yeah. Which Digimon? You can, uh, this one says Dorumon, which is like a purple, purplish one. I don't remember Dorumon. This is. Oh, that's the cool. guy from. Uh... Shit. He's like purple. I don't remember which one he's from. <sighs> oh, they have like high res portraits, so you can update the portraits. You can turn one of the characters into Wendy's, like from the restaurant. Perfect. That, that's exactly what I wanted. You can What's, get different scarecrows. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look skin. at the popular, um, popular mods. Do we need this? Do we need like the mods? mods? No, I don't think so. I don't know. The game has so much stuff. There's so much, so many cool things. Hey, that's the exact website I was looking at. Yeah, that's what I, I clicked on the link. Better crafting. That adds tabs to the craft. And nah, I think we're fine. 
Yeah. We're, we're morons. We're, I'm trying to plant eggs and grow egg trees, so I don't need mods. <laughs> you don't plant the eggs. You put them in an aquarium, and then eventually they hatch, and then they eggs. What are they? Yeah, they hatch into, like, sea yeah. eels. Mods seals. aren't necessary at all. <laughs> They're sea eels, or otherwise known as seals. What? Seals. All right, that's the show. Got to end it before we do anything else stupid. Yeah. Go, go plant some eggs. Uh, what? It, oh, yeah, this show is every Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time, Twitch TV slash The Game Fanatics. Merry Christmas. Maybe, I, I really do think we need to rank all these Pokemon, and if nothing, we need to find a week where nothing happens. It can't yeah. be next week because there's another two games I'm going to play. That I And watch my XCOM series. Fuck, I know, and I had all day and I played Love and Lana 2. I know, click, click over to the videos tab on this page that you're watching this stream on. Yeah. And watch it. There's two full episodes, and then I've got... I'm going to record at least two more this weekend and try to get two out this week. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch it maybe on Sunday. I think I said that okay. last week, but the problem is I don't go to Twitch unless I'm streaming. And if I I'm... also have them on my YouTube channel. And I also never go to YouTube. <laughs> I hate you. I'm not good. I'm a bad person. Like this is should not be news to anyone. I'm awful. Okay. I'm fine with that. I know. You you are one of the stars of the of the last episode. And, and I wanna watch episodes. it. I fucking love XCOM. <laughs> it's fun. Alright. Goodbye All right. everyone. Goodbye.